Heat load management in, in any feedlot is absolutely critical. Kalara is a 20,000 head feedlot on the Liverpool Plains of New South Wales. Typically in January, there'll be more 40 degree days than, than 30 degree days. Underneath the shade could be five to eight degrees cooler than out in the open. So all of the pens have a range of shade types. You've got the newer ones, which are metal structures, which have wire cabling and tin slats. And the tin is all separated by around 300 mil, uh, two to 300 mil to allow the sun to get through that gap onto the ground to dry it out. The old shade that we had here was a traditional shade cloth. It needs to be retracted in winter and then put out in summer. Shades we find here work better when they're north-south and not west-east. And as the, the sun moves from the east to the west, it allows the shade to be thrown possibly two to three times as big as the shade structure itself. What I've noticed over the last 20 years is a lot more involvement or a lot more collaboration between feedlots and companies like Kate Stone. So it's giving you live data on what humidity, heat, airflow is doing at any time. Now that, that information allows us to make decisions about whether we have an imminent heat event coming or whether we have a heat event upon us. And depending on that data, we then start pulling levers. And those levers will range from uh, a heat load ration, uh, which will have less energy in it, uh, will reduce the amount of grain in it. British bred cattle certainly look for where the shade is and, and uh, move under it very, very quickly. We couldn't run a feedlot of this size in this area without shade.